Good evening, Christopher Gavin here for week six assignment on SDI's FTT 122 Introduction to Basic Ballistics and Ammunition. It is July 30th, 2023, and I will begin with trajectory and sights. So a trajectory is a flight path or a flight path is the path that an object in mass motion follows through space. For an example, baseball. When you go to throw a ball from the point of your launch, you're going to have an angle going up to the end point to where the person will catch the ball. So up and down is your trajectory. Sights. Sights and optics are designed to create a line of sight that is a negative angle to the bore's axis. When the sights are aligned with the target, the barrel is being pointed at a slightly positive angle. So for a perfect example of firearms, you know, the rear sight, I'm gonna use my fingers for the rear sights, and then the front sights. Once you got it all lined up on your target, you are able to make that shot and hit your target most likely. Next up, we have the gyroscopic, excuse me, gyroscopic drift. Basically, is the spinning object will move perpendicular to the direction of force and the direction of its rate rotation. With a projectile that is being pulled from the earth by gravity, we all know what gravity is, the force causes a projectile with a clockwise when looking from behind the rotation of the drift. So if you'll be looking going clockwise to the right so it would be coming going to the right next we have drag drag refers to the force that opposes the relative motion of an object through the air drag always opposes the motion of the object basically it's the pressure from air forcing against whatever projectile you're using for my example is a baseball so whatever your force you'll have that drag and that drag will be pushing over onto that ball the magnus effect generations of sideways force on a spinning spherical solid immersed in a fluid liquid or gas when there is a relative motion between the spinning of the fluid so basically, the generation of the sideways spin of the force on the spinning spherical solid. And yeah. So next we have the oh, Cornelius and Intervus effect. Westward traveling objects are deflected downwards, while eastward traveling objects are deflected upwards, also known as the Intervus effect this aspect of the Cornelius effect is greater near the equator so with us in america north america above the equator when you flush the toilet perfect example is it the toilet flows down that way when you're in australia i believe it is where you're below the equator it's the opposite which it doesn't go up it goes down all right our next one is vertical angles vertical Angle, vertical angles are a pair of non-adjacent angles formed by the intersecting of two straight lines. So you have two straight lines, but vertical angles are the intersection of the two non-straight. Next, we have transonic basic ballistic performance. As drag slows the projectile to supersonic velocity, velocities the force of the drag will decrease so supersonic you know how fast supersonic goes the drag will decrease that projectile to subsonic so it will make it come from supersonic back down to subsonic then eventually down to a dead stop with that force dragging decreasing all information has been gathered from the SDI's Introduction to the Basic Ballistics and Ammunition Textbooks, Chapter 9. That's where I gathered, I read the whole chapter, got all my information, and broke it down into my certain words. 
Um, that's basically where I got all that. And once again, my name is Christopher Gavin. Today is July 30th, 2023. Y'all have a great evening.